You represent the family of Millie Dowler. That's the British teenager who went missing and was subsequently found dead. Um, it was her phone that was, uh, it was later revealed that her phone was hacked into. And of course, that caused, that, that spurred this uproar uh, throughout the country here. Uh, what do the victims want? They already got an apology from Rupert Murdoch. Well, well I think it's um, too soon to say there's been an apology. Look, victims are looking for different things. There are different people. People are looking for financial compensation, but that's not the only thing that they're looking for. They're looking for a full explanation as to what happened. The apology from Rupert Murdoch has to be taken on a very simple level. It's been an apology that was publicized, but it was an apology that was inevitable. It had to be asked for. We still have the position that News of the World are defending the cases. In the civil cases, defenses are put in. If News of the World or if um, News International was very serious about this, it would just simply admit all the claims against it on the basis of people having damages assessed and um, arguing about the level of compensation for people and injunctions, but they are still denying it. So although we have this wall of silence that perhaps was um, broken or started to tumble yesterday, mm -hmm. it's what comes from behind that wall that we need to see. How much stronger does this make your case if you need to, to look for perhaps criminal prosecution? I'm, look, I'm looking to you as a, as a lawyer as well, from a legal perspective, how much stronger does this make the prosecution's case uh, for, t for potential criminal um, uh, activity? Well, well, from the criminal side, the, the police are investigating properly. One of the um, problems with this situation was in 2006, I would say that the police didn't investigate properly when Clive Goodman was mm -hmm. sent to prison. There obviously were documents that existed that showed that this was more widespread, that other journalists might have been involved, and that doesn't seem to have been investigated. So the police inquiry is ongoing in what they call Operation Wheating. They're looking uh, at the involvement of other people. They've made uh, a number of arrests to investigate that side. In terms of the civil cases, civil cases are, are proceeding, um, lead cases are um, due to be heard January 2012, mm -hmm. February 2012, where we'll get some idea, but more and more cases and more and more victims are, are coming forward. I, I suppose the, the News of the World strategy was initially to uh, blame one rogue reporter, Clive Goodman, and say it was all him, which was largely blown apart by his letter, his appeal about dismissal yesterday, but there was also another strategy to say that this wasn't really important. It was just a number of celebrities and sports people. Mm. But what we saw was actually there's a lot of people, ordinary people, people who were victims of crime, etc., who, who had um, been caught up in this. Are we looking at potential jail time here for some executives, perhaps? Well, well I, would th I would think that um, the, the court process will be followed in the criminal law, and uh, it, it seems inevitable that um, if people are convicted, custodial sentences will be applied. Uh, and what is being said is that this went high up the chain of command to um, director level. So uh, a lot of people will be um, worried, I think.